And the more intense the hatred on certain people or certain actions, then the more fearful the judgment that is coming. We said earlier, some people say to Christians who think God protects us, oh, who's kidding themselves? But now, who's kidding themselves? Those who abuse other people and think they will get away with it, they are the ones who are kidding themselves. Sudden judgment will come. On the wicked he will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. And what does that sound like elsewhere in the Bible? Sounds like Sodom and Gomorrah. Those cities are carrying on thinking God didn't see, God wouldn't stop them, and then sudden judgment came on them. There will be sudden judgment at the end of time. A scorching wind will be their lot. In the Middle East, they have a wind called the simum, which literally means a poison wind. It's a deadly wind. It is so hot, like maybe 120 degrees Fahrenheit or something, this, this burning wind comes out of, of the desert, and if you're exposed to it, there's more heat being pumped into the human body than you can possibly lose through sweating and evaporation. So it's deadly. Some people are afflicted by heat stroke when this wind comes, even though it doesn't last very long. It's quite short, just 15, 20 minutes. Brief but deadly. So will be the vengeance of God. Another thing to say about these passages that speak about God hating and visiting uh, intense punishment on people is that the most intense things said about God punishing people are specific about those who most specifically deserve them. When people suffer under the hand of God, no one will be saying, that was unjust. Everyone will know God only did what was thoroughly deserved. There's only one class of people who get something different to what they deserved, and that's those who receive mercy. That'll be us. Because we read, this is not the end of the psalm, but the end of the psalm is this, the Lord is righteous, he loves justice, or he loves righteousness. The upright will see his face. He is righteous and he loves righteous deeds. Or he loves justice. That means, well, he, he, God does love doing justice, but he also loves 